Hey, how's it going? I was just doing some processing for uh, the Meridian Valley Laboratory. Um, it has this little uh, this little kit right here. Um, it's SST tubes, and you just take the SST tubes and you pour them straight into these little vials, and then you wrap them up with the um, little you know parafilm so it gets sealed up. But I wanted to share this one with you. I won't share patient info, but um, if you want to take a look at this one. This little thing, if you notice, it's nice and cloudy. It looks like milk. It's kind of like nasty. Um, that milky cloudiness, you don't see it as often, but that's a, what's called a lipemic specimen. I hope they can uh, really get this one because um, and make it work because it is pretty lipemic, but um, it's supposed to be nice and clear. You should be able to see right through it. Um, in this case, you could tell that it's pretty darn cloudy. That uh, means a high lipid count. And... Sometimes uh, tests can't be run if they're um, high in lipids. Uh, there's certain tests that can't be run. We run lipid tests just to make sure beforehand. But this one's pretty lipemic. This one um, shows that the uh, or kind of uh, the blood's not the greatest. They need to eat a little bit better. So uh, just want to show you too on the on how you um, process this. One of the things for AITA shipping requirements um, for FedEx is if you're using just one bag and not the K95 pack bag and you have a liquid specimen, you want to seal this thing up, wrap it up. It just like works like shrink wrap. It seals it up pretty solid. And then it just goes in the regular, it goes in the regular specimen bag with a, um, a dry mop um, because you always have to have two forms of packaging for FedEx. So there's this, the one bag. It's going to go into this little box. Goes in this little box, you know, gets uh, closed up, and then it goes into it, just goes into the outside back. That way, you have two barriers with it, and that's about it. Thanks.